Dear friends, welcome to yet another session of She Treasures. Today, we're going to learn a little more about Mary, our mother, through the lens of a very popular saint. It is none other than St. Anthony of Padua. After Mary, our mother, if there is a saint who is so popular across the globe, across the Catholic Church, it is St. Anthony of Padua, who has brought millions and millions of people to the faith and has strengthened them to be in connection with Jesus Christ our Lord. What can we learn about our Mary, our dearest mother, through St. Anthony of Padua? It is through his very life that we can learn a number of things. Talking about St. Anthony's devotion to Mary, our mother, we could say St. Anthony's life began with Mary. From the outset, his life was markedly Marian. Incidentally, he was born in Lisbon on the feast day of Assumption, August 15, 1195 AD. He was baptized in the Church of St. Mary in Lisbon. At the age of 15, he completed his studies at the Cathedral School of St. Mary. Appropriately, his earthly life, ever pure and humble, was brought to a closer in a similar Marian tone. Towards the end of his life, it is said that when he was in his last days, he longed to be brought to the St. Mary, Mother of Friary Church in Padua. After he received his extreme unction, he intoned his favorite hymn, O Gloriosa Domina, O Glorious Lady. He lived and died with Virgin Mary in his lips and in his heart. Something more about St. Anthony's devotion to our dearest mother. They say his sanctity and wisdom flowed from his devotion and love for Mary, our mother. St. Anthony was titled the evangelical doctor, wonder worker and hammerers of heretics. But more, more importantly, he was a renowned person for known for holiness and his holiness, it just flowed from his devotion and love for Mary, our dearest mother. Dear friends, St. Anthony, he ardently preached about the devotion and the dogmas of Mary, our dearest mother. As a friar minor, St. Anthony praised and glorified the queen of the angels from the pulpit. He brought many people, multitudes of people, to the church through his preaching about Mary, our mother. He had a great devotion to the dogmas of Mary, our mother, and he preached about it. St. Anthony had a great devotion to the Immaculate Conception of Mary. And they say his purity, his holiness, was because of his great devotion to the Immaculate Heart of Mary, the Immaculate Conception itself. In his mind, the pure virgin was full of grace and free from sin in view of the divine maternity. St. Anthony also maintained in his personal spirituality and he preached about the perpetual virginity of Mother Mary. He frequently spoke about the Marian doctrine regarding the perpetual virginity. In his words, he says, Mary, a mother, she remained a virgin before, during, and after the birth of Christ. In his words, how beautifully he makes a connection between Mary, a mother, and the sweetness of the flower. He says, what else is the flower of virginity if not a sweet perfume? Just as a lily does not lose any of its beauty in emitting its sweet fragrance, so did Our Lady preserve her virginity in giving birth to the Saviour. 
these words simply brings her attention what a great devotion that he had and the belief about the perpetual virginity of our dearest mother sir anthony also believed in the dogma of mary's assumption we all know that the assumption of mary as a dogma was declared only in the year 1950 by pope pius the 12th but even at the 12th century saint anthony was very much convinced of what was always believed that mary was assumed into heaven and then he preached about this in his preaching and there are two primary reasons for mary's assumption according to saint anthony so it is her election as a mother of god and her response of humility which is the reason for her assumption into heaven saint anthony believed in the maternal mediation of mary our mother he preached about this to the people telling people to pray to our mary our mother because she is ever ready to listen to them saint anthony would declare the blessed mother will not run away from any sinner she is appropriately called the mother of mercy since she welcomes any sinner who approaches her offering solace to the afflicted and hope to the despairing dear friends saint anthony often used to call on to the holy name of mary the glorious saint doctor of the church found great delight and strength in invoking the sweet name of mary the new eve and star of the sea with all her sacred privileges we can go on and on talking about saint anthony's devotion to mary and a number of things that we can learn from his devotion but this final question as we are coming to the conclusion of this reflection of knowing more about mary our mother through the lens of saint anthony of padua what can we learn from the life of saint anthony of padua with regard to mary our mother and the devotion to her i believe it is we from the example of saint anthony learn how to be a perfect devotee of mary and i feel that's what we can learn from saint anthony of padua and his devotion to mary our mother yes your friends in the world where where some people exaggerate the spirituality of mary our mother making her as if she is a goddess and the other side we have people who simply dismiss her her spirituality and her witnessing value in the church as though it's nothing we have in saint anthony how we need to truly have the devotion to mary our mother i see in saint anthony the best example to honor mary our mother saint anthony believed in praising her he preached about her he believed in the dogmas and more importantly he imitated her in the virtues of his own life they say he imitated her with such perfection that he became as it were an extension of virgin mary on earth he imitated her in her poverty littleness and purity of heart dear friends it is said that saint anthony's sanctity and wisdom flowed from his devotion and love for our dearest mother and i think if any one of us want to truly have a devotion to mary our mother it is what the church is teaching it is what saint anthony did in his life we need to pray to her for intercession we follow her life and we come closer to christ because of our devotedness to mary our mother as we come to the close of this reflection shall we take the example of saint anthony in our own life let us praise her let us imitate her 
let us intercede to her because that's what Mary has been given to us by God the Father as the best example in our faith. I'd like to conclude our reflection for this evening with a prayer that St. Anthony used to pray very often. Pray with me. Let us pray. Our Lady, our only hope, we are asking you to illumine our souls with the brilliance of your grace, that we may be worthy of his glory. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. God bless you all.